Good morning, everybody. Our prayers for others. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we come before you now to bring our prayers for others. We thank you and praise you for your word, which tells us in the book of Romans that nothing can separate us from your great and powerful love. And if you are for us, who can be against us? And so we thank you so much for this beautiful day and for everything that you've blessed us with this past week. We think of our church family, and even though we can't be together physically to worship you, we know that we can still have fellowship with one another and bring our worship, praise and prayers to you. We pray for everyone in our church family and pray that you will bless each one and may we all have a special sense of your presence with us. We pray especially for those who are lonely or not feeling too good today. We ask you to fill them with your peace and grace. We bring Colin and Kathy before you. We thank you so much for them and we praise you for the way that they share your love with us in everything that they do. We pray a special blessing on them and their family. And we think of baby Rufus and ask for your protection and care on him and his family. We pray now for our world. God of all creation, you hold the world and the depths of the earth in your hands. There are so many places that need our prayers. We think firstly of our own country, especially as we are coming out of lockdown. Please help us. As restrictions are lifted, we need to know what we should and shouldn't do to keep safe. We also pray for our economy and our way of life that you will lead our politicians in their decision-making. We ask you to bring an end to this coronavirus. We pray for all the medical researchers and ask that you will lead them to a vaccine that can be produced quickly. We lift before you all NHS workers and ask you to protect and care for them. We also ask for you to support the hospital chaplains who are working in difficult times. And we pray for all the other countries too who are coming out of lockdown. We pray for help with their economies. We pray especially for the Lebanon, as we hear from Anna that the country is in crisis. We pray for your miracles of provision for the Lebanon. We pray for Anna and thank you that you have her in your care. We ask that you will bless her now in a special way as we pray. We pray for Apollina, Romania, and thank you for everything you have blessed them with. Please support and lead Pastor Attila as he works for you in all his many endeavours there. Please bring your miracles of provision to Romania too. We bring all the people who are named in our church prayer book before you. There are so many people named there and all have such a great need. They need your healing, blessing, blessing and help. Please be with them and we ask you to meet their every need as we are sure that you know all about them. We lift each one individually before you for your healing, blessing and care. Lord, we bring before you now all those who are mourning. Please, Lord, comfort them in their bitter grief, which can be too hard to bear. We ask you to be their Yahweh Shalom, to be their peace. Now, Lord, may you bless each and every one of us and may Jesus touch our lives in a very special way today. Thank you for hearing all these prayers. We are assured in the reading from Romans that Jesus is interceding for us on our behalf and so we bring these prayers to you in the great victorious and powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen.